Hello and welcome to today's video. If you've ever wondered how welders achieve strong, clean, and reliable joints, the secret often lies in the welding rod they choose. In this video, we'll dive into the fascinating world of welding rods, exploring their different types, unique characteristics, and how to select the right one for your project. Whether you're a beginner just starting out or a seasoned professional looking to refine your knowledge, Let's get started. So first things first, what are welding rods? Welding rods, also known as electrodes. These are consumable metal wires coated with flux material used in shielded metal arc welding SMAW. They serve as both the filler metal and the source of electric arc for the welding process. Like this example given below, welding rod 7018 and 6013 are the two commonly used welding rods in industry. Now move on to the construction of the welding rod. A welding rod consists of two main parts. A core wire. It is made of metal that matches or same as the base material. And flux coating. It is the chemical compounds that surround the core wire. Ever wondered what those numbers on a welding electrode actually mean? Let's break it down. Each electrode designation gives you key information about its strength, position, and usage, all through a simple code. Let's decode it step by step. The letter E stands for electrode. First two digits represents minimum tensile strength in thousands of PSI. Third digit indicates welding positions. And fourth digit tells us coding type and current type polarity. Now hope that you know what the numbers on welding rod mean. Now move on to the types of welding rods. First one, E6010 electrode. E6010 is an all position electrode known for deep penetration. This rod is perfect for general fabrication and repair work. It uses a high cellulose sodium coating, which produces a protective gas shield when it burns. This welding rod runs on DC reverse polarity. That's DCEP with the electrode positive and the workpiece is negative. This rod delivers deep penetration, ideal for strong root passes, even on dirty or rusty surfaces. These welding rods are commonly used in pipeline welding structural jobs, and anywhere you need reliable root fusion. E6011 electrodes. E6011 is an all position electrode that works with both AC and DC. These rods are coated with high cellulose potassium, which is perfect for stable arcs on AC or DC power. This welding rod provides great flexibility in different welding setups. Like the E6010, E6011, gives deep penetration, which is great for welding through grime and corrosion. These rods are perfect for farm repairs, maintenance work, and general fabrication, especially when surfaces aren't clean. E6012 electrode. The E6012 is an easy starting electrode designed for light duty welding applications. It comes with a high titania sodium coating, which is rutile based and gives smooth arc characteristics. When it comes to current type and polarity, these welding rods works with AC or DC straight polarity. That's alternating current or electrode negative DC. This electrode provides light to medium penetration, making it perfect for thin materials and sheet metal work. These electrodes can be used to weld in all positions with it, but it's especially great for vertical and overhead welding. Some common applications include sheet metal fabrication, automotive body repair, light structural work, and even beginner welding practice. E6013 electrodes. E6013 welding electrodes are general purpose electrodes known for their smooth arc and easy operation. These welding rods feature high titania potassium coating 
which is rutile based and provides stable arc characteristics. These welding rods can be used with both AC or DC in either polarity, making them highly versatile for different setups. They offer light to medium penetration, ensuring controlled performance across various material thicknesses. These welding rods are suitable for all welding positions. These welding rods produces cleaner finish. Typical applications include general fabrication, maintenance and repair, educational training, and multi-pass welding projects. E714 electrodes. E704 are high deposition electrodes designed for production welding applications. They feature an iron powder titania coating, which contains iron powder to increase deposition rates and improve welding efficiency. These welding rods work with AC or DC in either polarity, offering flexibility in current requirements. E714 rods provide medium penetration, making them ideal for balanced welds, especially in fillet welding. While suitable for all positions, they are optimized for flat and horizontal welding for the best results. Typical applications include fillet welding, structural fabrication, shipbuilding, and other high production welding operations. E7018. E7018 are low hydrogen electrodes, specifically designed for critical structural applications. They use a low hydrogen iron powder coating, which is moisture resistant and helps prevent hydrogen cracking. These welding rods operate with AC or DC reverse polarity, most commonly used with DCEP for the best results. They deliver medium to deep penetration, ensuring excellent fusion characteristics. These welding rods provide superior performance in vertical and overhead welding. Typical applications include pressure vessels, bridges, buildings, critical structural welds, and code required welding operations. E7024 electrodes. E7024 are heavy iron powder electrodes designed for high speed production welding. These welding rods provide the highest deposition rates. These welding rods can be used with AC or DC in either polarity, making them adaptable to different welding equipment. They deliver light to medium penetration, offering controlled performance. These welding rods are designed for flat and horizontal positions only. They are best suited for downhand welding. Typical applications include production line welding, shipyard fabrication, heavy structural work, and high volume manufacturing. E7028 electrodes. E7028 electrodes are low hydrogen, high deposition electrodes designed specifically for horizontal fillet welding. They feature a low hydrogen iron powder coating which combines the benefits of low hydrogen with high deposition efficiency. These welding rods operate on AC or DC reverse polarity with performance optimized for DP. They provide medium penetration offering a balanced weld profile suitable for structural applications. Designed mainly for flat and horizontal welding, they excel in horizontal fillet welds. Typical applications include structural steel fabrication, building construction, bridge work, and heavy equipment manufacturing. E304L. E304L welding rods are designed for stainless steel applications, particularly for grades 304 and 304L. They feature a low carbon stainless steel composition that helps reduce carbide precipitation and improves corrosion resistance. These electrodes produce smooth, stable arcs with minimal spatter, ensuring clean welds. They are suitable for all position welding with balanced penetration and strong mechanical properties. Typical applications include food processing equipment, chemical tanks, and architectural structures. E309L. E309L are used primarily for dissimilar metal joining such as welding stainless steel to mild or carbon steel. They contain a high chromium and nickel content, 
that provides excellent strength and corrosion resistance. These electrodes are versatile for both cladding operations and repair work on assemblies made of mixed materials. They maintain strong weld integrity, even under high temperature service conditions. Common uses include cladding layers, maintenance welding, and joining stainless to non-alloy steels. 316L. E316L are molybdenum enhanced stainless steel electrodes designed for grades 316 and 316L. The addition of molybdenum improves resistance to pitting and crevice corrosion, especially in chloride rich environments. They provide excellent weld bead appearance, stable arcs, and reliable mechanical properties. These electrodes perform well in all positions, maintaining corrosion resistance when proper heat control is applied. Typical applications include marine environments, chemical processing plants, and pharmaceutical equipment fabrication. Electrodes ENICL rods are nickel-based electrodes commonly used for cast iron repair. They are well suited for cold welding applications with no preheating required for most repairs. The welds made with these electrodes offer excellent machinability and can be worked using standard tools. They provide a good color match to gray cast iron, maintaining a consistent appearance after repair. Typical applications include repairing cracks, breaks, and defects in gray cast iron components. ER4043 ER4043 are the most widely used general purpose aluminum welding wires. They feature excellent fluidity, allowing smooth weld flow and clean bead appearance. The added silicon content improves crack resistance by reducing the risk of hot cracking. These electrodes are compatible with many non-heat treatable aluminum alloys, making them versatile for general applications. Typical uses include automotive parts, frames, pipelines, and general aluminum fabrication. ER5356 ER5356 are known for their higher strength and superior mechanical properties compared to ER4043. They are best suited for welding non-heat treatable aluminum alloys, particularly the 5XXX series. These electrodes provide excellent corrosion resistance, especially in marine and saltwater environments. They produce strong ductile welds with good toughness, suitable for demanding applications. Common uses include shipbuilding, marine equipment, pressure vessels, and structural aluminum components. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and comment below. And for more welding insights, make sure to subscribe to the channel.